smoking on some OG Well I'm homegrown and I'm leaning on to my love Good morning everyone. Day four. And we are Today's on. a fun one. Well for you. I, well, well. <laughs> I'm on my way to the ferry where I'm gonna hop on the ferry and ride into San Francisco for work. Do you people know what a ferry is? A ferry, a boat, yeah. I think. I mean I like you maybe put it on my water. I don't know. I don't know. You might think like Princess Ferry. Or maybe we should just explain. Yeah, I ride a little princess ferry to work <laughs> every morning. There's a chance that someone might not know what a ferry is. Um, a ferry is a boat, yes, that um, you could take from like some suburb cities around a main city into the city. It's a, like a form of transportation, so. That's not the only reason, like, like ferries are also like what takes you around like Statue of Liberty. You know, or right. like takes you, which is like also transportation, like for like a sightseeing exhibit. That's true. Anyways, I ride the ferry in to work when we're here in San Francisco because we stay up a little further north with Julia's family. I'm sure you know all this, but for everyone that's new, yeah, we work in San Francisco. We come here once a month for a week at a time, and we stay with Julia's family. So this morning, I'm on my way to the ferry, and I'm gonna ride it into the city where I work for the day, and then this afternoon and evening, I have a sales event. I have a sales event with my um, sales team because my boss recently left the company. We usually have sales outings every quarter and tonight is like the last one with our boss included. What are you, where are you guys going? Um, we're going to Coxcomb. Is that the, oh wait. That's the place you and I and Nikki and Dan went that one time. We're at the Squid. Oh, that's an intimate place. Yeah. You get a reservation? Yeah. Mm. With like a, I think a set menu. Nice. That'll be fun. Um, they're really good vibes there. And they're going out afterward. Yeah, super good restaurant. And the, and the, and the uh, chef is, is he was like one of the top chef guys. Remember? He was like a, yeah. he was like no, a the celebrity made, chef. Had... Anyways, we're doing that and then we're going out afterward. So y'all probably won't see much of me today, which is okay. Oh, it's about her. She's going up to Petaluma, her hometown. Yay. Which I freaking love Petaluma. So the most like, I'm not bummed that I'm not going to be like part of the vlog. I'm just bummed. I'm going to be in the office at my desk, and Joey's gonna be up in Petaluma, which I love so much. Like, I wish I was up in Petaluma. I, love Petaluma. I know. I would, God, Petaluma is dreamy, huh? It it's is pretty dreamy. amazing. And like the whole area, like Hillsburg and all that. I know. So, I'm very excited for a day up there. It's just like more calming. It's more like, it's, it's funny because Petaluma is like a little bit more like Texas. It's like almost a little more country, like a little bit more relaxed, yeah. but still California. So. It's definitely more country. I uh, have a hair appointment, you guys. We're getting hair extensions for Europe. And also going to a boutique called Ula Lux and doing some shopping. Oh, Should be all of it. Do you have allergies? I think I ate like ish yesterday. We I ate, ate so like bad. crap yesterday. It literally felt like I was eating 12 year old food. I know. What did you have for lunch? Uh, I had like a decent lunch. Well, since we were up really early yesterday, you guys, our blood sugars was like really messed up, so we ate like crap. We had Chick-fil-A biscuits. You guys know we normally eat pretty healthy on these videos, but when we're traveling, it can be really hard. That was a special day for sure. Yeah. We gotta do better today. Actually, after we left sushi, which we took out to, we, went, we left. <laughs> ice cream. And we went to Pico, which we showed up before. The little, it's like a little pizza spot yeah. in Large Bird near, nearby. A and good we friend that works there. We wanted to go say hi. Yeah, yeah. We should her actually look for her. Yeah. Her name's Lorraine. Shout out to Lorraine. She was awesome. Shout out to Lorraine. And Lorraine actually, fun fact, Lorraine got us to like all of our hard times. Lorraine was. She um, her comfort zone. She was. Uh, okay, we started going to this restaurant when we moved in to California years ago, and we were kind of having a hard time adjusting, like during the move, and we started going to this restaurant called Pico, and then. Um, Lorraine was one of the like waitresses slash kind of like GM at the restaurant and she is like such a great personality like so outgoing like just amazing and she would always just talk to us when we were there and was like so nice kind of like a mom and she's I mean she's young though she's like 30 and she's just lovely so we always love going to see her now we feel like she's like a family member and yeah. um so we went to see her last night got ice cream with hot fudge on top mm. and Julia ordered french fries uh, I ordered 
They're my favorite fries. They're so good. I had to get them. So, so we good. ate that after sushi, and then we went home, and on the way home yesterday oh from God. the ferry, I had bought an, uh, four different types of cheeses and some crackers. Like a cheese board? Gourmet cheeses. Because there's really good cheeses out here. Yeah, and so I bought four when I was like waiting for the ferry to arrive yesterday, and we started scarfing on cheese. So it's like, that, yeah, I don't know. I've heard today this cute, by the way, on Anna Kimo. I know. She goes, what is there, like, a party out here? Yeah. Is everyone going to bed? And uh, we were like, yeah. She's like, okay, then I will too. <laughs> My Nana lives with us, you guys. I'll try to show her later. I'm sure you'll see her at some point. And she's... She's like 90... 112. No, she's not. She's like 94, <laughs> 93. She's super old and she lives with us and with my parents and so last night we were having cheese board and she came out and she wanted some cheese board so we gave her some and she's very old she's so cute though so anyways she's, really nice. she's nice she just likes to be a part of things she can't really like do a lot like she can't really walk that well and she just kind of moves from her room to the couch she got up it was like 10 at night and she was like is there a party out here and she came and hang out so. think like willy wonka in the chocolate factory and then that like old family that sleeps in bed all day <laughs> <laughs> that's nana kind of it <laughs> what's his name grandpa joe yeah she sleeps i saw a, lot. a funny meme about grandpa joe where it was like oh yeah like happy monday to everyone except grandpa joe because that bastard slept in bed and like made his family struggle for how many years and then all of a sudden he gets the chance to go to chocolate factory and he hops out of bed and skips around <laughs> <laughs> so true it's like oh all of a sudden you can walk okay gotta drop hunter off um oh, okay, right. it's like a herd of cattle here we go <laughs> blowing up the nose sorry okay so it gives me such a hard time for sneezing and blowing my nose, but it's like, it's a necessity. I it's, have to do it. It's an excess. I love you. Love you. I miss you. Miss y'all. All right. See y'all later. Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm headed home back to the house, and my mom doesn't have to work today till a little bit later. She, my mom is an independent tutor. She, um is a smart lady so she tutors like all different types of subjects like math and science and spanish and stuff like that so she uh she gets to like make her own schedule luckily even though she's really busy she probably has like eight or nine students a day for each like an hour session so she's really full days but she um isn't starting today till like 10 so her and I are gonna have a little coffee date and it says I never get to hang out with her before she leaves for work so I'm gonna go home and we'll have coffee with her I don't know if we're gonna go out or if we're gonna make coffee at the house she has a stunning backyard I'll show that to you too anyways I'll see you at the house it's vlog week Can I tell you? You know oh no vlog week where it's a uh, we vlog every day for a week straight, just all and blog. upload live. So like today's video, they'll see tomorrow, and they'll see like what yeah. we're doing. But it's only once a month, so I just happened to fall on this. This works off. So I'm excited about that. That's nice. Wait, how do I do this? Do I do just little? So I did, but it didn't beep or anything. It doesn't need to beep. It doesn't? Nope. I don't know if it's going. You just don't waste any time, right? I don't. I I mop first thing in the morning. Rise and clean. <laughs> <laughs> well, well Not a minute to spare. Here, take a picture of me sitting on the the group app. Show everyone in your living room because it's so cute. Okay, this is Ritter. This is my parents' dog. And here's my mom's cute living room. She just got this. They love home decor, so uh this new ottoman from Restoration Hardware. Is what size is this? That's Here actually come tell us about the vision of your living room. That's 40 by 40. Cloud ottoman. Yes. Okay. And there's two different fills. One is less, uh, is more squishy. This is the one that's not quite as squishy. So yeah, she just got this and this is Ritter. Hi, baby. He looks scary, but he is very nice. He doesn't really like other dogs, but he's a really nice boy. Yeah. And then she gets all her pillows from, you got all your pillows from Sharina and Lily? Uh, yes, I go to the outlet in Berkeley. Goes to the outlet in Berkeley. Amazing. And your backyard is looking great, I meant to tell you. Backyard is so pretty. Show you guys, because we're about to redo our backyard, Mom. And these are actually the kind of plants we want to do in our backyard. They're agave. 
and she's got a little patio set up. They live like on the water, so it's really nice. Um, table and then some lounge chairs and she's just got really good plants lots of succulents see like that bowl over there how fabulous is that and her little agave is out in the center as well these are exactly what we want to do so really cute it's a gorgeous day oh it comes out you want to come hang out with me you want to come out here let's hang out outside okay i've got the last night's mask Still on my face I kind of knew that they'd be trouble But I did it anyway I swear I used to be innocent But you were in my head I do remember how I got here I do remember what I said But I could last night's mask Okay, so I just got done walking the dog with my mom and we are both headed out for the day So I just want to show you guys my outfit really quickly I'm wearing my earrings from H&M that I got recently in my day in my life vlog if you saw H&M hoops. I love them um, This top is from pretty little thing. It's like a side ruched top, but um, Yeah, we'll link Blazers from H&M. Also showed you guys this in my Day My Life uh, vlog recently before vlog week. And I got it in a size 8 so it's nice and oversized because I really like that look right now. My Walmart jeans and my Balenciagas. And I'm trying to decide on a bag. I'm going to wear my Walmart sunglasses because they're so cute. I was thinking maybe the Fendi. I think it's kind of cute. Like side bag. I don't know, but I also like my new vintage gold bag that I got in Vegas. I think I want to do the Fendi. It's fun. So let me get all my stuff together. I am going to get all my... Here, the lighting's better this way. There you go. Um, I'm going to get all my stuff together and I'll see you guys in the car. Hello people, I'm back. Sorry this is not the best angle, but it's the safest for me driving. Um, I am on my way up to Petaluma, which as Hunter was saying earlier, is where I grew up. So it's just about 25 minutes north of where I am currently at my parents. So um, yeah, since we have all moved out to college, my parents moved a little bit closer into the city. So that explains that. Um, so this is what we're doing today. Basically, there is a boutique. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. They work with a lot of bloggers on Instagram and stuff like that called Ula Lux. And it's kind of similar to like a Vici Dolls if you're similar, with, if, wow, if you're familiar with Vici Dolls. It's kind of similar brand to that. Well, coincidentally, Ula Lux uh, happens to be in my hometown of Petaluma, which is so special and so cool. And we connected recently and uh, they asked, I told them I was going to be in town, so they wanted to work together on doing like a haul video just so that pe more people can find out about them. And I was like, perfect, I'm gonna be in town when I come into the store and I can meet everybody and like actually pick out some pieces in person. So that's really cool and I'm gonna go up and meet the team today. I actually went to their warehouse, not their store because they have more stuff at their warehouse. But I'll bring you guys obviously along behind the scenes. You can see that. Um, but they've got really cute stuff and um, if you tend to be like a little bit more bohemian style, I feel like they really have you know those types of pieces but they also have a little bit more of like you know classic basics and stuff like that so we'll see what we can find I'm very excited and I am really happy about that because you know I like working with like the boohoo's of the world but I also love working with more local smaller businesses so it's really cool that they're in my hometown and it's just close to home so I really like that and really excited to be working with them so I'll be doing a full haul video with them once they pick out these pieces. After that, we're going to get our hair done and I'll just bring you guys along so you can see the whole transformation, but basically I'm getting extensions for Europe, 
which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna get tape-ins, and I haven't had them in a really long time, but I figured for Europe, I just don't wanna have to mess with doing clip-ins or anything like that, and I just want my hair to look fantastic all the time, even when I'm in the ocean and stuff like that. So, really excited, I'll bring you guys along. I'm gonna do this drive and focus on the road, and I love you. Okay, I just got to Petaluma to Ula Lux and I'm about to walk in. Here's the cute little street that the warehouse is on. And let's go in. Ooh, they have a neon sign. So cute. Oh, Ula Lux, California, it's so cute. We just got to Ula Lux and the girls here are so cute. This is Angelica. Hi. Say hi. And she just got engaged and her ring is really? stunning. <laughs> like, Thank we need a close you. up. I'm like so jealous. I want oh my that gosh. ring. <laughs> Um, so I'm just kind of looking around the warehouse. I'm about to pull some pieces. We're working together on a haul video for you guys soon. So all the inspo for Europe. I'm really excited. And their decor is so cute. Look at the pink couch. I just got a pink couch for my office. I saw so that. I'm like, this is, yeah, it's like so my style. Um, and I love like all their pots, like everything that they pick. Their store is cute too, but here's the warehouse tons of stuff and yeah i'm gonna get to like pulling no it looks great it still looks very cute it's like not perfect which i like yeah <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna pull some pieces and stay tuned to see what i get keep telling me i'm timeless steady calling me your highness because it's my wait come to your outfit okay you guys angelica and i have the exact same outfit on like it's very <laughs> ironic and like hoops gold hoops yeah sneakers that's so funny so funny. okay i'll give you time you to like check it out okay let me know if you yes. need anything if you want to try stuff on there's like spot here or the bathroom okay perfect thank you okay here's some of the stuff that i pulled lots of florals very summery wait to show you guys everything but i'm gonna go try on okay here's a little sneak peek at one of the pieces this is such a cute dress i feel like for portugal and spain like spain especially so cute i love the halter style it's kind of 90s and white so cute i love it they have the cutest pieces lots of pink too <gasps> I'm literally obsessed with this girl, Angelica, and she actually has a YouTube channel. She was so shy, she didn't tell me. Oh my gosh. But you guys need to follow her because we have the exact same style, so. <laughs> we do. We really What's do. The, I found you do. and I was like, wow. We're like, I'm gonna be best in. Yeah. <laughs> and she loves Sobe and Chintzia, so uh, she gets a chance. Oh my gosh, yeah, I love them. Uh, Angelica Juarez, J-U-A-R-E-Z. Okay, YouTube. I'll put it here on the screen. You guys go subscribe. And she does fashion, and she's gonna start vlogging. Yes. And stuff like that. Yeah. So. Yay. Okay, you guys, I got all of my Ula Lux stuff, really cute pieces for Europe, and it was actually perfect timing because I feel like they're really good at like dresses and little sets and like really girly feminine stuff, so it's perfect because that's kind of what I need for Europa. Um, and the girls in there were so nice. Oh my gosh, like every single time I go in there, they have like the best staff honestly like every girl that they hire is so sweet so genuine and just so my vibe like i just love them so much so thank you ula lux i'm so excited for the haul video that's gonna be coming soon you guys and you can shop all the pieces and they have really cute stuff so check them out it is 12 right now actually i need to upload a few of these stories i'm gonna go grab a salad and then we're going to get our hair done at one so i'll see you guys soon okay i'm at this spot called the tea room i used to come here all the time when i was in high school and they had the best food and i got a falafel salad this looks freaking incredible so excited let's try it mm. so good they have the best food if you're ever in petaluma randomly the tea room hit them up at the pine i know it's all pink in here because look at this amazing sign so cute i definitely want to get i think like a neon sign for my office or something like that because i feel like it's really cute anyways i'm here to get my hair done um at the pine petaluma i'll put their instagram here and i'm coming to see barb she does a lot of like celebrities and stuff like that so that's really cool and we're doing this hair up for europe we're getting extensions i'm so excited so I'll show you guys everything, obviously, 
but I just had to show you this bathroom. I needed a moment because it's so cute. Okay, you guys, I'm at the Pine with Barb. Hey guys. Uh, Barb does hair. And um, we're doing extensions. She's gonna touch up my color today for Europe and get me all ready to go. So I know I always get questions about um, my color and what I ask for. So she's gonna tell you like kind of what we're doing. And we are thinking, I told her I'm kind of liking this rootiness that's coming in, but I don't want it to be so, like, it's grown out, obviously, so we needed to fix that. So, yes. what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so, what we're thinking, because the extensions at the bottom are going to have the pop of color, and yeah. we don't want your hair to get any more damaged, or right. any, it's not damaged, but yeah. Damage yes, added in. It's very fragile. Um, so, what I usually will do with making sure that the blend is really natural yeah. is I might tip out a little bit down here. Okay. Um, but you can even do it at the, like, almost right before you're about to rinse out. Okay. Um, so, that's to address the blending. Yeah. And then up here, so when we did it back in, when was that? Early March? Yeah. Yeah. So, it may not look like it. But yeah, see yeah. how kind of yeah. harsh that is? It's easier sometimes too to like lift it because that kind of shows you the truth. Sure. When it's here, it's like soft and muted. Totally. But we don't want that getting any more grown out because no. as summer comes, she lives in, you know, Texas, so we know the sun's going to be out and about. So I'm going to come in and softly pick up, like weave up a little bit. Okay. Um, and obviously we're gonna address the front. And yeah, I'll show you guys all of that. Yeah. Um, but then I go and I call it a root gloss. So um, always, 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 someone should be glossing over everything. Okay. Especially on finer, thin hair, yeah. it gives it that like, uh, like kind of feels like a deep conditioner. Okay. Um, so because when you bleach hair, it blasts the cuticle open. So we want to go in and lay it down, Got make it. you feel silky. Okay. And that's usually like six to eight weeks is when it will usually <laughs> fall out. Okay. How girls like go yeah. in between washes oh, yeah. now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do still like a slight pop here, and then it will root gloss this down. Okay. So it won't make it as dark as this. Yes. But it gives it like just a more lived in look, not so like highlighted. Done. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, and then in terms of like the color, like because people always say, oh, what do do you ask for highlights or do you ask for um, balayage or yeah. and, and for the color, like the tone? When yeah. I said J Lo, uh, I just I yes, J Lo, give me like, yeah anything that J Lo is yeah. doing. Yeah. We want we want everything, including her <laughs> body. But it's like my new <laughs> secret weapon. It's um, uh, Redken Shades oh, yes. EQ. Um, Redken Shades kind of yeah. turns out to be more like watercolor yes. type of feel. Love that. Um, so it's not going to really like change it. Yeah. You know, like yeah. too much. Um, it's just kind of like a slight corrective, and it gives okay. off a lot of shine. Yes. And it's eight WG. Eight WG. WG. That down. And nine N. And nine N. And it's like warm gold neutral. Medium ashy goldy beige. like beige perfect <laughs> yeah. stunning just exactly. lovely and just like a lot of shine. Yes. That's what we want. That's especially great. going to Europe. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna be adding in some fun extensions. I know, I'll tell you guys about the extensions in a second, but yes. she's gonna mix up my color yeah. and we're gonna I'm get gonna started. Go. Okay. Be right back. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys the extensions that we're putting in before because I always get lots of hair questions about extensions since I have fine thin hair. And today we're doing tapins, um, and these are from the brand called Hotheads. So you guys are probably, if you've ever had tapin extensions, these are the brand that most hairstylists use. So you could ask your hairstylist who does extensions if they carry hotheads because it's pretty much like the tapin extensions that everyone does. But it's basically a little, we'll show you guys when they're actually getting put in, but they're, it's like a really strong hold like tape that doesn't come out and they last uh, six to eight weeks and you can re-wear them twice. You can get them re-taped and then moved up and like worn. So you get a lot of use out of them and they're not super expensive. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys. We got three different colors from Hot Heads. So do you see how these are like all the tones kind of in my hair? We're gonna be kind of like mixing them basically. 
and layering them all together to make it blend really well. Um, so I'll list all of the colors down below that I am getting in case you guys have a similar hair color or want this, but I'm so excited. These are 16 inches, so we'll see how long I keep them. I'm not really sure, but I feel like I need to go longer than I'm anticipating, so I don't wanna cut them too short. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited and I just wanted to show you guys all the info. Um, yeah, I don't think you can buy them like yourself, but just ask your stylist and they will probably know all about how it. So that's the deal. Got the color on, waiting for it to develop and then we're gonna tone it up. And then we're moving on to extensions. So very excited, but this is gonna all blend really well. She did a little bit of the end, like the tips, just so that extent it blends with the blonde part of the extensions really well. So there we go. It's very cute, I know. I've got the last night's mask still on my face. I kind of knew that they'd be trouble, but I did it anyway. I swear I used to be innocent, but you were in my head. I don't remember how I got here. I don't remember what I said, but I've got the last night's mask But I was falling down, I didn't feel it What I did last night, I don't remember Who caused these tears in my slumber, babe? Oh, Should I cut? Oh, I think he's soft enough to not love Okay, I'm gonna do it. Cool. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, we're finishing up. She's just cutting to blend everything. And it looks absolutely amazing. Like, so natural. So blended, so good. And her tip is um, if you have like thinner hair like me, it's to not like over bulk with extensions or it can start to look like a tree, she says. Am I even thinking chunk? Yeah, just like on like, anybody. I think too many people go heavy. They go too. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need that much hair. Because it also, as you wash it, it's gonna fill up. Mm -hmm. So, like when I just know that. Yeah, sorry, the dryer's going. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm freaking in love with my hair. I I can't even get over it. Like the color is so incredible. It's unreal, actually. Um, and Barbara um is really amazing. Actually, if you are located either in the uh Bay Area, she has a salon called the Pine. Um, Petaluma and you can book an appointment there so everyone's really incredible there and she like trains everyone and she's so good um, but anyways I love it and thank you so much Barb I have never loved my hair more um, but I posted on stories um, exactly what I asked for for the color because I always get a lot of questions about how like we achieve this kind of like honey you know light brown blonde color and um yeah so i put a breakdown of like what she does and like what what i asked for and everything there and if you missed it i will try to add it to my highlights so you can go back and reference that or just shoot me a dm and i can send it to you so uh yeah next on the agenda tonight hunter is at a sales event for his work so i'm going to have dinner with my girlfriends that i have known since high school and i always see them when i come here you guys have met carly a million times in other vlogs because i do tons of stuff with her um and she lives just a little bit north of petaluma so we're gonna go have a girls dinner and i will bring you guys along so i'm just gonna put the camera away while i drive and then i'll see you when i'm with the girls Okay, you guys, back with another giveaway for today's vlog week. So today's items are going to be this really cute romper from Boohoo. I wore this on Instagram a while back, if you guys have seen it. It's adorable. It honestly, to me, looks like a Zimmerman romper, and I think it's so cute for spring and summer, so I think this is really good timing to give it away. And I would say this is, this is a size, US 6 so honestly would fit you know a lot of sizes 
Um, and then this really cute bag from Sabo Skirt. I wore this a ton last summer and I just have so many handbags. So I loved it. It was so cute for the pool. I tied little scarves around it and I got so many questions about it when I wore it. So this is the second item. And then for the last item, it's going to be the way dry shampoo hair foam which is very exciting um and i love the way i'm obsessed with them and love all their products so i just have a couple of these and thought i would include one for today's giveaway so putting that in there okay so today's giveaway details are going to be same as usual you need to make sure you're subscribed following us on instagram and then leave a comment on this video and i want to know more about you guys so uh, leave in the comment um your age um where you live and lastly your style icon it could be maybe an instagrammer it could be um, a blogger or a celebrity but i'm curious like who you guys what kind of vibe you like and who you like to follow so that's it and good luck so much with the barking Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Hi, Boone. This is Boone. This is Carly's dog. Oh, we love doggies. Yes, we do. <laughs> he's so cute. Here's Carly. Hi. We're having rosé. What kind is it? Oh, cheers. Uh, something $7 from the grocery store. I just like the label. <laughs> it is really cute. It's cute. Very aesthetic. Um, and Jessica's coming, yeah? Yes, and we're gonna go get sushi. We're gonna go get the sushi, and well, her husband doesn't like sushi, so they never get to eat it. Yeah, I know. And I actually, I'm like on a sushi kick right now, but I never wasn't really ever into it. But I discovered salmon belly. I know. You I'm like, I texted Julia, and I was like, "Are you sick of sushi yet?" Because I kind of want to go get some. <laughs> like, no, I pre pretty much eat it like three nights a week. If my budget allowed it, I would eat it more, but I can't. Okay, so. salmon belly. I'll have to try it. Yeah. What do you normally get? Anything. Ugh. Like, I don't. Eat Whatever sounds good. I usually just yeah. ask, ask the waitress. Like, oh, yeah, order for nice. Me. Okay. Yeah. Well, Jessica's coming soon, and I'll show her as well. And then we're gonna go to get get sush. <laughs> he loves the camera. Okay, we're on our way to sushi. We're going to an all-you-can-eat place. Yeah. Yes. What's it called? Paradise. Paradise sushi. And real fans. We're excited. Here's Jess, you guys remember Jess from Hi. very long time ago in the Stagecoach vlog, it was like two years ago. So there's probably a lot of new people since then, but um, yeah, we're gonna have a girls night, some sushi, some drinks maybe, and that's it. Oh my god, yes, yeah, we need a lot of wasabi. Oh my god, this is, this is my dream. Can we get some extra wasabi? Thank you. I like, like all of that. Um, this looks like great. Going in, guys, and start. Mm mm mm. Sorry, I'm messing up. Thank you. Perfect. Oh my god, you have it? Yeah. It's old fashioned. What? Camera. camera. No one really carries cameras around. It's not very normal. I'm so hungry. Okay, this is tuna, right? Just take two at a time. Yeah, and then just eat one at a time, but. Um, <laughs> Salmon belly and tuna. Wait, I want to get your reaction on the salmon. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's not Don't shut the phone thing about. No, I just meant like, I didn't want to clarify. <laughs> okay. The soft shell ginger sometimes white and sometimes white. I think that they put coloring in it. I don't know. You can eat the shrimp. Don't you eat the whole shrimp tail? I eat the shrimp tail, yeah. You can choke on that. <laughs> what? Uh huh. Yeah. And she eats the strawberry stew. <laughs> My ten toes tap, ten poles, none can match but I So when you ask me for the time, I can only reply That it's mine, it's all mine, it's all mine, yeah it's mine It's all mine, it's all mine, yeah it's mine It's all mine, it's all mine, yeah it's mine It's all mine